Hey, hi guys, what's up? So, for today's lesson, we are looking at Form 5, Chapter 4, Transport in Plants, Pengangkutan Dalam Tumbuhan. So, uh, in this particular video, we will focus on the structure of xylem as well as phloem. Because to me, if you don't have a proper strategy to control these two, memang susah nak hafal. Okay, so uh, if you ask me, sir, how should I study this part well? First step, you have to understand it well visually. Make sure you can see with your own eyes. The moment you can see, you should be able to half out from there. So, if you are lost at any point of this topic, it's not an easy topic, uh, I would say. Uh, because now in my normal class also, I find bug 1 sampai bug 4 among, because it's about the same thing. It's about the same thing for these few topics. Uh. Di antara ke semua topik ini, I think so far bug 4 lebih susah berbanding uh, yang lain lah. Okay? So, tanpa membuang masa, mari kita mula. Uh. So, first part, we are looking at structure of xylem. Now guys, let's say if I take out the vascular bundle. Keluarkan tissue vascular. Okay, sekali lagi ya. Keluarkan tissue vascular. Now, this one here, if I were to ask you, what tissue is this? Okay, this is xylem. Satu lagi, kalau dari atas, what is this particular structure? If you tell me flow worm, so sorry, ini salah. Uh, malah, ini kesilapan umum di antara calon-calon SPM. Uh. Okay, a, a very common mistake lah. A very common mistake. Uh, this is why I use a very specific cross-section of the stem. So that my students don't get it wrong. Um, I always tell my students in class uh, that my past students, biasa new when they go up to STPM A levels, this is not really a problem for them because I train them using this style of learning. Meaning we always use this form of stem. So when you have learned something tougher, the rest is easier. Lah. Okay, anyway, so this is something that you have you should have studied in bab one. Tik, tingkatan lima bab satu. Ini kita panggil sclerenchyma. Guys, sclerenchyma. And below it, okay, if I were to color using a green highlighter, so I want to guna, okay, highlighter hijau, ah. okay, I can see, ah. it's about the same as the rest. Let me change to another color. Okay, so I guna highlighter kuning, ah, this one. This is called flow worm, guys. This is the flow worm. This is the flow worm. Wow, sir, sclerenchyma bigger portion than flow worm. Yes, you're right. Okay, kita boleh nampak dengan jelas ya. Uh, this is why students get it wrong. Because um, students have an uh, impression that memang flow worm. Flow worm takes up a big part, but actually no. Okay, so guys, be careful about this. Huh? So again, we study xylem, kita tengok xylem baru phloem. First of all, xylem is a compound tissue. Xylem is a compound tissue. Compound tissue means it is made up of two or more types of tissue. Sekurang-kurangnya dua jenis tissue. And the two that you are looking at here, uh, these are the two main structures that transport water upwards. Yang pertama, salozilum. Xylem vessel. Salozilum. Yang kedua, trachea. Okay, uh, BMBI, the, the, the pronunciation is about the same. Huh? So, trachea. Dalam BM, trachea, trachea, trachea. Okay. So, by using the same diagram, guys, have a look. Uh, this is trachea, while this is xylem vessel. Sekali lagi ya, ini trachea dan ini salozilum. So, apakah perbezaan di antara kedua-dua ini? What is the main difference? When I ask this in class, uh, my students like to say, Sir, one, the hole is bigger. Uh, when I see this or hear this, I'll get a bit uh, 
shocked lah, yeah? <laughs> Okay, so I always tell my students don't use the word whole, okay? Because others might get a wrong impression. Huh? Use the word uh, lumen. Lumen. BM atau B pun sama. Yang lubang ini kita tak sebut lubang ya. Yeah? Uh, ini lumen. All these are lumen. So as you can see here, xylem vessel has a bigger lumen as compared to tracheid. So salu xylem ada lumen yang lebih besar berbanding berbanding tracheid. Uh, which goes to say, most of the water, uh, I just give you a rough number. Most of the water will be transported by xylem vessel. The rest tracheid. Okay. So, kebanyakan air diangkut oleh salu zilem dan selainnya trakit. Yeah. So guys, uh, xylem vessel is a long tube stretching from the roots all the way to the top. Okay. So in exam, they can ask you, katakan, they ask you to describe structure of xylem vessel. Empat markah. Apakah empat poin anda? Four marks means you have to come up with four points. Eh? Okay, let's start. Eh? Let's start. So, first point, xylem vessel is a long tube. Guys, xylem vessel is a long tube whereby they are dead cells. Okay, semua ini sel mati. Semua ini sel mati. Maksudnya tidak ada organel. There, there are no organelles inside. Okay, and they have lumen which is used to transport water. So this is your first point, long tube. First point, second point, they are dead cells with lumen. They are dead cells with lumen. Number three, you have to use the words and walls. Dalam BM hujung dinding. End walls are either perforated or open. End walls perforated or open. Hujung dinding sama ada berongga ataupun terbuka. So if you are unsure, please look at the diagram. As you can see here, there are many perforation. Uh, banyak liang di sini. One perforation, two, three, four, five, six. This is the meaning of perforated. While this is open, you see there's nothing blocking uh, the water flow. Huh? Okay. So, one common question I get from students in my uh, in my Zoom class is, so why is it perforated and open? The reason is in order for water to pass through. Supaya air boleh melaluinya. Okay. So first point, long tube. Second point, it is a dead cell with lumen. Third point. Third point. The end walls are either perforated or open, so that water can pass through. And the last point, guys. If you're done in school, I'm sure you know the last point. It's a very common point. It's a very, very common point. So, second point, lumen. Third point, end wall perforated or open. Last point is lignin. Okay, last point is lignin. So, guys, the walls of xylem vessel, dinding salu xylem, ditebalkan dengan lignin. Lignin here is to provide mechanical support. Lignin here, main function is to provide mechanical support to the xylem vessel. Okay, so guys, that's it. These are the four points that you have to remember. Alright, so if I were to just ask you. Okay, kalau saya belum mula katakan, eh? I just show you this diagram. Can you tell me the four points? Okay, let's go through this together. Eh? Okay, first point, long tube. Okay, second point, if you remember here, dead cell. Cell mati, tetapi ada lumen. End wall perforated or open. And then don't forget wall taken with lignin. 
Hey guys, if you realize how long do we take to revise? Only 5 seconds. Hanya 5 saat untuk buat ulang kaji bagi struktur salo zilem. So, sometimes when you're lost, you can use diagrams to assist you. Okay? Okay, now, when we talk about lignin, when we talk about lignin, you might encounter this in your reference book. Uh, by the way, at this point in time, there are, I would say, nearly no reference books at all. Huh? At this point in time, huh? um, anyway, if you so happen to come across all these terminologies, istilah, istilah, bagi lignin. First of all, huh? uh, I, this is from A-levels. This is from A-Levels Biology, uh, because I teach A-Levels, so I took the diagram from there. Now, these are different forms of lignin. These are different forms of lignin. First one, annular. Second one, spiral. Sclerariform. Okay, then reticulate, pitted. Okay, you don't have to memorize this, but... Next time, as you advance to STPM A levels, memang kena hafal lah. Next time lah, guys. Next time lah. Okay? Now, the reason I'm showing you is because objective can ask you. They can show you just the few structures. Then they ask you what is shown in the diagram. Jawapan anda lignin. Okay? All these are lignin. Different forms of lignin. Alright? Okay, so with that, we know the four points for xylem vessel. Okay, mentally, uh, see whether you can or not. Uh. Number one, long tube. Number two, dead cells with lumen. Three is what? End walls either perforated or open. Akhir sekali lignin. Tada, this one. This one, uh. Why I stress on the four points is because, guys, good news for you. If you can half out the four points, Okay, anda boleh hafal 4 point bagi selalu zilem. The track it is about the same. 3 point sama. Hanya 1 point kita perlu tukar. Iaitu point ketiga. Recall, what is the third point? End wall with, uh, end wall perforated or open. Ujung dinding berongga ataupun terbuka. Itu kamu tukar kepada, you change to, end wall with P. This one. And wall with P. Okay, let me show you. So, guys, xylem vessel tracheid, the points are about the same. Just a slight tweak to cast a two point. Then you know all the points already. Yeah? Why, why make life so tough? So, let's start. Huh? First point, long tube. They are joined end to end to form a long tube. Okay, tube yang panjang. Yang kedua, Poin sama dengan salo zilem, iaitu uh, lumen dari sel mati ya. Okay, terdapat lumen. Lumen merujuk kepada ruang. Okay, ruang dalam trakit tersebut. Guys, end walls repeat. Okay, I'll slow down a little bit here. Just now, end wall perforated or open. Now with pit. Sir, what is pit? This shows you one pit. Okay, di sini, anak panah menunjukkan satu pit. So, if this one is one pit, can you like quickly count how many pits are there? Okay. So, this is one. Alright. One, two, three, four. Jumlah empat pit. BM pun pit. Okay, BM kita guna perkataan pit. Uh, so, why got pit? Untuk sebab yang sama. So, that water can pass through. So that water can pass through. Okay? And last point, lignin, summer. It's the same thing. So, just to summarize for you. Just to summarize for you. Both xylem, vessel, as well as trachyte, you can study them together. Uh, point one, long tube. Tube yang panjang. Then, second point, they are dead cells. Cell mati, tetapi ada lumen supaya air boleh uh, bergerak ke atas tumbuhan. Eh? End wall, okay, this is the thing. I will shift up lignin. Alright, now the difference is, 
xylem vessel, end wall, end wall spider, perforated berongga or open. But our friend here, track it, we say end walls with pits. Itu saja guys. At the end of the day, this is what you need to know. At the end of the day, this is what you need to know. It's quite simple, right? Yeah. Please use this method of mine uh, if you find that you are stuck. Okay. And just to sum up the last thing. Uh, again, uh, again. Uh, so track it are always the smaller ones. The bigger ones sentiasa salu zilam. Okay. And guys, the last part for today. Alright, the last part for today. So, for flowworm, there are two main things that you have to know. Okay, hold on. Uh. Hold on. Okay, this. Actually, I should be using this one. Sorry, I should be using this one. For flowworm, there are two structures that you have to know. There are two structures that you have to know. Yang pertama ini. This, uh, this whole thing here is called a sieve tube. This whole structure is called a sieve tube. Dalam BM tube tapis. Uh, tube tapis, okay? Oh yeah, see the tube tapis, sorry. Okay, the other one, uh, the other one is companion cell. The other one is companion cell. Dalam BM, cell rakan. Dalam BM, cell rakan. Okay, now, uh, first of all, flowworm, they have sieve tube and companion cell. Guys, uh, I put in CC, uh, companion cell. Tengok, setiap... Uh, di setiap bahagian tube tapis sudah pasti ada sel rakan. Should sure have one guys. Should sure have the companion cell. Okay, this is the sieve tube. And sieve tube is a long tube. Sieve tube is a long tube. For the same reason to transport the 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 products of photosynthesis a long way down eh, the plant. Sieve tube, you have to know, okay guys, based on this particular diagram here, bagaimanakah cytoplasma tersebut? How is the cytoplasm? I'm coloring yellow color again. It's very thin, correct? So, they have very thin cytoplasm, cytoplasma nipis. And can you see any nucleus here? Don't have. So, no nucleus. Why? Supaya banyak ruang untuk mengangkut sukrosa. A lot of space to transport sucrose or organic soil also can. White space. Okay, what else? Um, oh, I missed out this one. Now, in the sieve tube, they have this structure called sieve plate. They have this structure called sieve plate. Dalam BM plat tapis. Dalam BM plat tapis. You just have to know that they are perforated. Sama juga berongga. Berongga. Meaning many small holes lah. Eh? Students always remember better that way. Okay. Uh, many small holes so that the food can pass through. And last but not least, companion cell is to supply requirement. Okay. As you can see here. They don't have nucleus, they don't have other organelles. By right, cannot survive. But because of companion cell. Okay, thanks to the companion cell. Okay, mereka membekalkan keperluan. Mereka membekalkan keperluan uh, kepada tube tapis. So, what do they provide? In exam, you can mention nutrients as well as energy. Cukup. So, companion cells will keep the sieve tube alive by providing nutrients as well as energy. Okay, alright. So, uh, this is how you control sieve, um, sieve tube flow work. Companion cell. 
it's of course a little bit easier compared to Zylon now, of course. Okay guys, uh, with that I finish this particular lesson. Um, there will be a video on my intensive class for those students who are, who, who, who are quite weak in Form 4 lessons. Who are quite weak in Form 4 topics, yeah? Because guys, as you can see here, uh, your SPM biology for your new syllabus, which is KSSM. Um, I'm sure you know by now, like, it's not something new. Eh? Tingkatan 4, 5, blast topic. Tingkatan 5, 3, blast topic. And the topics are essentially shorter, meaning they're longer. What I'm trying to tell you is, dalam SPM, the main thing that they can ask is Form 4. 60% of questions will be from Form 4 topics. Okay? So if you find that you want to revise Form 4 topics and get to know all the answering techniques, plus what is important for this year's SPM, you can join my Scheme Team Tech. You can join my Scheme Team Tech. Uh, okay, I'll use a red pen. Huh? Uh, Skin Team Tech is an intensive revision program, but I'll, I'll just keep that in the other video. Skin Team Tech Biology. See, got its own special name. <laughs> okay, so guys, that's all for today. I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, cheers.